Hello guys, Ronald here, Easy iPad, and I'll be take, doing a quick review of the Rapier, Rapier skin on Cody. So you can see, uh, let's get started on the design. We have a continuous menu on the bottom of the screen with sub menus. If you just click up, which are also sub uh, on the horizontal plane. If we navigate over to our add-ons, you'll notice that you have an option of six ways to view your add-on, and you have icon, thumbnail, list, media info, etc. So let's see what these look like. So you can see, you go through the different options. They're pretty neatly uh, organized. Some of them give you more information than others, but they all look pretty uh, neat when you set them up. If we open up one of our add-ons, let's see what these look like uh, when you open them up. Let's see. All right, our add-ons pretty much look like they would look on any other system, but you do get um, additional view options, and let's see what these are for our movies. So. See, you have a wide selection, so you have icon, thumbnail, list, white list, info, one through three, wrap, 3D wrap, and wall. So this is pretty nice. So as you can see, you just have these options. Some of them give you more information than others, but at the end of the day, it's your user preference on how you want to select your movies. Uh, some people are very visual. Some people just want to read a little bit, give me a little bit of description of what the movie is all about. So this skin definitely gives you a lot of viewing options, which is pretty nice. Fonts, as far as fonts go, you get Arial and just the regular one. Not much there. Under the general settings for the skin, let's see how we can customize this skin. You have just your basic options here, kiosk, etc. Home, home navigation buttons. Here's where you'll be able to hide uh, which buttons you want to show and which ones you don't want to show in the home screen. So go ahead and hide music, pictures, general, weather, and power. So hide, go ahead and hide those since I don't like to use those. Now right below that you'll have the option to add more categories and these are basically your home screen buttons such as movies, pictures, etc. But one thing you'll notice here is that when you select for example custom one it doesn't let you rename it. I don't know why but it just, I, I couldn't figure it out. If you figure it out please let me know. I could not for the love of me or the world of me figure out how to rechange uh, change the name of those categories from custom one, two, three, or four. Now, another thing that I didn't like about this is you don't have the option to create a home shortcut to your add-on. So let's say you wanted to put Genesis uh, direct and jump straight into it from one of these category buttons. You're not able to do that. It just jumps straight into add-ons instead of the add-on or plugin, the way this skin likes to categorize it. So pretty much you just won't be able to do that. But you can set your own custom backgrounds and icons. And then here under category submenus, uh, don't hide submenus if you set up uh, custom uh, add-ons or plugins like here. So if here's this is where you would set up your your plugins. So customize submenu. So if you set these up, you don't want to hide the submenu because then you won't be able to access them. So here I'll set up. This is where you'll set up your mashup, Genesis, Click, and all these other add-ons that you'd like to access directly from the home screen. But unfortunately, you can only access these from the submenus, not directly from the main category. And that's how you set those up. Let's see. Hide in progress. And then you have your basic uh, information here. Hide weather. Hide system added. All right. Let's go over to media. Before we do that, let's just go home the home screen and check this stuff out. So as you can see, I set some of these add-ons up, and some of them I didn't name, so you have to make sure that you actually name them so that they show up on the main screen. If you don't name them, they won't show up, and you'll have a blank. So here you see I have a movie and movie DV. It wasn't showing up because I didn't have it, um, and I mislabeled that right there. It didn't show up in the home screen because I didn't label it. So if I go back over here, you'll see now it appears. So make sure you label them. And then let's see what else we have here. Media. You can hide seek bar, basic options here. Use banner layout, show clear logo. All right, and enable fan art, etc. Okay, moving on. Let's go over to our backgrounds. Here you can set up your custom backgrounds, animate the background so that it starts moving around. And you can do change backgrounds for each one of your uh, categories. Set up a single image, multi-image, or fan art. And uh, just do whichever image you'd like to use from your computer. So I'll change that one to that and see what that looks like outside.
All right, let's see animations. You can animate view animations, thumbnails, whitelist, how you prefer to view your, which ones you want to have on and which ones you don't. You can turn them off. All right, and then that's pretty much it here. Weather, add-ons, add-on settings. Artwork downloader, add-ons, basic settings, and then just reset your skin. And that's pretty much it for the Rapier skin, guys. Um, have any questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can watch these videos next. Till next time.